everybody, this is Julie Abel from Rocky Mountain Media Group. Since Jeff has launched his crazy idea, I've been getting tons of messages from a lot of friends on Facebook and Twitter going, Julie, we know how busy you are. You're a busy mom. You work full time. How in the world are you managing Rocky Mountain Media Group, your full time job, and cooking meals on the, full on the whole 30 for your family? So I picked up this book from the library, Everyday Paleo by Sarah Fergasso. I have also been checking out her blog. It's awesome. And she has some great recipes. I'm making this dish tonight um, so that when Jeff comes back from Ed's gym and the kids get home from school, they can just take it out of the crock pot because I'm going to have a late night tonight at work. So um, what it calls for, very simple ingredients with this recipe, there is two pounds of stew meat. So we're going to put that in the crock pot. One yellow onion. Now since doing this the last few days, the food processor has been my friend. I haven't used it a lot. Normally only use it on Thanksgiving and Christmas special occasions, but because I'm doing a lot of processing, fine chopping, all of that, I've been using the food processor a ton. So one onion, we've got 10 to 12 cloves of garlic. This is where Jeff's come in and he's helped me actually mince that up. So that is there. Um, sea salt and black pepper to taste. So I'm just going to put some ground pepper in there. And then Ed's been teaching me how to uh, make healthier choices. So we bought this fresh sea salt instead of regular salt. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. Um, some chicken stock, half a cup. So we're going to pour that in there. Okay, next, one tablespoon of majorium. Okay, this is one of those foods that I didn't know what it was. I haven't used it a lot because I do a lot of um, pre-made pre things previously before this diet. So getting introduced to some new spices. And then the only thing left is I'm going to cut these acorn squashes. I had... Just a true confession here, I never purchased one of these before. I had no idea what was inside. I had heard of them, but never had bought one for our family. So they're kind of, um, they're very pumpkin-y, so you got to clean out the seeds and make sure you get everything in them. And then you just put this acorn squash on top, cover the lid, so this is kind of what it looks like inside, cover the lid, and I am going to turn that on here before I leave for work and it's going to be ready for the kids tonight, six to eight hours. Another side dish that I'm going to do tonight, because you go, is that just it? Um, we are getting introduced to the sweet potato in our family. Um, Jeff needs these for when he comes back from working out at Ed's gym to get his carbs. So I'm just wrapping those up, sticking those in the oven, and those will be ready as well for tonight when they get home. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please or other ideas of easy recipes for the Whole30, we'd sure appreciate it because we are learning as much as you guys are on this journey. So, thanks!